So yesterday, we finally got an update from Sonix regarding the upcoming Rocket Pass 4. They provided us with a solid trailer and a dev blog with some additional information, and I'll link the two of those in the description. Today, however, I'm going to be showcasing and discussing the items from the trailer, talking about the themes, the quality, and ultimately giving you all the information we know about the upcoming Rocket Pass 4. So let's start off with probably the main attraction for any Rocket Pass, and that's going to be the new battle car. Now this one is named the Mudcat, and it's centered around a rally theme with a little bit of futuristic hints in there as well. Now the standard or tier 1 Mudcat doesn't have a strong resemblance of a rally car, and I think it actually looks more like a Lamborghini Urus. However, that's not a complaint, I actually think it's a great feature. The Mudcat G1 and GXT aren't simply pure upgrades, and you might see people actually using the standard Mudcat if they're looking to use an SUV in Rocket League. Moving on to the Mudcat G1 at tier 25, and that's when we finally get some rally features added in. You've got that hood scoop, which is an iconic feature of any Subaru, with Subaru being one of the most popular rally brands. And the second feature is going to be that light, which has a futuristic rally look to it. Now moving on to the third and final Mudcat, you've got the GXT at tier 70. Really takes on the rally look with those iconic lights. It's got a bumper in there, and it's also got what looks like some iconic rally stickers. Now the stickers too are a bit futuristic. They don't seem to be stuck down straight on the car, and they actually look like they hover a little bit. Now one of those stickers provides an interesting piece of information, and that's that RLCS rumble sticker, which means we could potentially see a fun RLCS rumble tournament heading to Rocket League. Now moving back to the start of the trailer, let's take a look at some of the items that have been teased so far. The first one's going to be this topper, with a spare wheel, some gasoline and some containers. You've also got another shot with the topper, as well as a checkered flag. We've then got what seems to be a dust and rocky based goal explosion, which can also be seen throughout the video. Moving back to the mud cat that we spoke about earlier, in those shots you can see a new upcoming boost, and while it does look cool, there's nothing too special about it. Next up we have several items included in this shot. The first one's going to be that checkered flag that we saw earlier in the video. There's also a strange new pair of wheels on this Dominus, and to me they look like an earlier version of the Rocket Forge wheels. There's also a strange new topper, I'm not too sure how it fits in the futuristic rally theme. And I also think that's a new Dominus decal, which looks like a splattered decal. In the background there's an Octane which seems to be rocking a new decal, as well as some full color grey wheels. Our next shot is with the Mudcat GXT, this one appears to be painted titanium white, however there is a concerning element. You can see these stickers from the unpainted Mudcats as well as the titanium white. Both of the stickers remain sort of a lime green. And if this is the default color, it can be a bit worrying because it might limit your design choices. There's also an interesting pair of wheels here. They look very futuristic. And we've got the goal explosion from earlier. However, this time it seems to be painted purple. We've then got another shot of the dust goal explosion, followed by that orange boost we spoke about earlier. Now our final shot is probably the most interesting one. It's going to kick off with a very cool looking goal explosion. It looks a bit similar to the sort of black hole or singularity goal explosions that we've seen in the past. However, the color looks very cool here. And I like the design feature of all that matter sucking to the center. There's also a new pair of wheels looking very futuristic. And the color scheme reminds me of grip strides or metalworks. That very dark black with a strong pop of color. And considering how popular grip strides and metalworks are, this might be a very popular addition. The final piece we could talk about is the decal. Now I highly doubt they're going to be making a decal for the Venom, seeing that it's not a very popular car. So this is probably a look at one of the universal decals. So that's going to finish off our look at the trailer. Let's head on over to the dev blog and take a look at what's on for show over there. The first thing is going to be this picture with a lot of items included in here. We're going to be starting off with that Mudcat GXT. There's the orange boost from the trailer, and the car is simply rocking those old school Trahir wheels. Taking a look at the default Mudcat, or the SUV, you've got a new pair of wheels here. They look a bit strange, like something out of Mad Max. As for the boost, I don't think it's anything new. It looks like it could either be a standard or a flamethrower boost. Moving on to that Dominus, you've got another new pair of wheels that also look quite avant-garde. You've got that orange boost we keep seeing. You've got that splattered decal as well as the topper with the tire and the gasoline. Having a look at that Octane, another new pair of wheels. They remind me of the Alterias or the Kyrios, with that similar design of a hubcap covering around half of the wheel. There's a new decal, which doesn't look like anything special. A strange topper, which I'm not sure exactly what it is. 
looks perhaps like a sandwich or a small. And finally a new boost, which has some orange and some green, and I think that one does look pretty cool. We've then got the Fennec with another strange topper, and I also have no idea what it is. There's a new decal on it, which could be another mystery, and a similar looking pair of wheels matching up with the decal. The final car in this shot is going to be the Breakout. It's got a very cool looking decal, so hopefully that one's universal. The wheels also remind me of the Rocket Forge wheels. We've got that strange topper from earlier that we saw on the Dominus. And finally take a look at the boost. Looks like it's the same one on the Octane and the Fennec. However, the colors do look a bit different. Looks like it's got some blue and some red. And I think that could be a great addition because I do think we're missing some multicolor boosts in the game. So that should be the picture complete. As for some additional info in this dev blog, the first piece of news is that your weekly challenges are not going to expire and you've got until the end of the Rocket Pass 4 to complete them. They also provide the dates and this Rocket Pass is going to last from August 28th until December the 4th. The final thing they talk about is a new purchasing option. You can buy the normal Rocket Pass for 10 keys or they have a premium bundle for 20 which allows you to unlock 12 tiers from the start. Now in the past you could purchase tiers previously I doubt they're removing that, so it's probably just a slightly cheaper bundle. But that is going to be a wrap on everything we've seen so far from the Rocket Pass 4. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments section. Are you hyped? Are you going to be buying it? Or does Sionix need to step up their quality? But as always guys, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.